Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 8 of the Dead Mall series. I know it's been a while, but uh, we are finally back from the Iowa Expedition, and uh, we are ready to pump out these episodes, so I hope you all are ready, and I want to welcome you all to episode 8 of the Merle Hay Mall in Des Moines, Iowa. The site of Merle Mall was originally home to St. Gabriel's Monastery from 1921 until its demolition in 1958. In 1956, the Passionist monks who resided there sold the monastery site to Chicago-based developers Joseph Abel and Bernard Greenbaum. Abel, in a 1994 interview, stated that the developers chose Des Moines for the mall because of the city's reputation as a model urban area in the middle of America. The mall was known as Northland Shopping Center early in its planning stages until Yonkers executives suggested that it be named for Merle Hay, the first Iowan killed in World War I. Merle Hay Plaza was originally planned as a strip mall before it was redesigned as an open-air plaza, with two department stores and four buildings around a common area shortly before construction began in early 1958. So, the mall opened in August of 1959. It had 31 stores at the time of its opening, including its first anchor, Yonkers, as well as a bowling alley that is still in operation today. A second anchor store opened later in 1959 as Sears moved from downtown Des Moines to the Merle Hay Plaza. Other early tenants include a Safeway supermarket, whose space later became part of the Sears, Bishop's Buffet, which closed in 1995, and Walgreens, which was replaced by an Old Navy in 1999. A movie theater and a six-story office building were added in 1965. So later in this video, you're going to see how the mall changed from an open air plaza to an enclosed shopping center. And most of these pictures are taken from back in the uh, 60s and 50s. And um, yeah, so in 1972, it became enclosed. Two years later, as Valley West Mall and South Ridge Mall were under construction, Merle Hay completed a major westward expansion that doubled the size of the mall and two additional anchors, Montgomery Ward and the Yonkers Store for Homes were added to the mall as part of the expansion. Right here, you're seeing the uh, back of the old Sears building and the absolute state of decay that this building and parking lot is in is absolutely awful. You can see just how cracked and weeded out the parking lot is and there's boarded up doors everywhere on this Sears building. There's the auto center you just saw. And uh, yeah, this is on the far north side of the mall. And this Sears building is absolutely huge with two stories. It was one of the first Sears in Iowa and an original big box Sears store. And right here, if you look closely, you can just barely make out the label scar behind that tree where the old Sears sign was. And right there was one of the entrances to the Sears. Heading into the mall, I actually thought that it was going to be a pretty alive mall because there was a lot of foot traffic at the front near the main entrance. But as you work your way into the mall, into the many wings, it becomes very apparent how bad the... Uh, state of this mall is in so yeah I'll I'll leave you to this uh, right here there's a GameStop which was looted and I had the window boarded up right here you can see the uh, Sears building the Sears wing in 1961 that's the exact same shot you're gonna see in a second and uh, there's a the same shot when it was enclosed in the 70s and uh, right here you'll see today how it looks that's the same the same hallway, the same open air area. That's the same bit right there. And uh, yeah, I'm walking down towards the Sears. You'll see what it looks like when we get down there. I'm 
So walking down this hallway is just going to give you a little bit of a glimpse, a feel if you may, for how the rest of the mall is. It's just these enormous, wide, huge corridors with shops on either side that are either open or closed and uh, there's no people. There may be a, a few people walking around, but other than that, it's just these huge corridors that are empty. And then there's these huge rugs in the middle of them with plants on top. And these rugs are usually in pretty bad condition with these all these stains all over them. And it's it's a pretty gross sight. So getting down to the Sears here, the uh, Sears Company in this mall opened in 1959, and it was one of the original two big box stores in Iowa. And the store in this mall closed for good in 2018 after a series of closures because of the bankruptcy of the Sears company. And you can see just the huge entrance with the stairway on the left. And yeah, it's just, it's incredible to see. So I'm at this mall. And this was just a few weeks after the Black Lives Matter protests turned into a riot and a bunch of people broke into the mall and started looting stores. Uh, like I said at the beginning, you saw that GameStop on the right which had the boarded up window because someone broke into it. So this picture was taken in 1959 when the mall was still an open air plaza and that's looking at the west end towards the old Yonkers building and this is that same shot walking west and it's obviously changed so much with the bridge court being constructed when the mall was enclosed and then being turned into a Flicks brew house in 2019 and you'll see coming up here just how much it's changed because I have some before and after pictures of the uh, mall in the early 80s when the bridge court was still there so you'll just see how much it's changed. So yeah, in 2019, uh, you can see the Flix Bruos up there. All that space was converted from the second level bridge core into the uh, movie theater place. And it's closed off right now because of what's happening. And right here, I'm going to take a quick look under the escalator at these small plants. And that's one thing you're going to realize about the small is just how many mall plants there are. There's like... Bu fake bushes, fake little palm tree bush things, they're everywhere. And the first level of the old bridge core and right here, it's just such a dead area. And yeah, it's, it's not good. There's a lot of stores coming up here that are closed off near the uh, old Yonkers. The original Yonkers store at the mall was destroyed by a fire that broke out in the morning of November 5th, 1978. And you'll see some pictures of that coming up here. The fire caused an estimated of $20 million in damage and killed 11 store employees. And the store was closed for nearly a year in order to rebuild. And you can imagine just how much that brought down the reputation of the mall because any little thing like that will absolutely devastate a mall.
not so. I mean, you just been fighting for so. So, the mall lost its first anchor in 1991 when the Yonkers store for homes closed after the Yonkers company decided to stop selling furniture and appliances in order to focus on its more profitable fashion business. And right here is where it was. And Kohl's replaced the building in 1993. Right here you'll see the food court. And apparently this is all original uh, according to my dad. And I didn't even know this existed in the mall, but here it is. It's completely dead. Other than a few stores, it's uh, it's pretty empty. And right here, I walk up to this old pizza place, and it's uh, pretty cool. Really? So Yonkers closed alongside Sears in 2018, and. It wasn't a good sign of what was to come for the future of this mall. And uh, right there you saw like a cool looking, it was like a silver statue in front of the Anchor store. And I just thought that was pretty cool seeing that. And uh, yeah, walking back towards the Target area, I feel like it is important to mention that it wasn't always a Target. There was originally a Montgomery Ward store in the Target space. And when the company went defunct, in 1999, the large space sat vacant until it was demolished and turned into a target. And right here, you'll see those ugly stains on the carpets I was talking about. These kinds of stains were everywhere, and it was just, it was god-awful. And uh, right here, uh, we don't have the best filming, but uh, I kind of had to keep my camera hidden because... There were these two security guards at the security booth behind me, right above the bowling alley stairway that went down to it. And they were like the model mall security guards with the blue shirts and the badges and everything. And uh, yeah, right here he is looking down towards the original Montgomery Ward space. So right here is the original entrance of the Sears. And uh, you'll see just how much has changed from 1961 to today. Um, that's like the same shot, and I just think that's incredible to see how much, how different it is. That's like a, what is that, 50 year difference? 50, 60 years, I don't even know, but it's crazy. And here's the front parking lot of the old Sears. And you can see the label scar up there. It's kind of been painted over, whatever. But uh, yeah, the front of the Sears is in awful condition with um, little to no care being taken to the sidewalks. And I walk up here to the uh, main doors and take a look inside. Uh, looks like the lights are on in there. Maybe they're doing some work, but I don't know. So yeah, everyone, that is the Merle Hay Mall. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, there will be a lot more content coming soon, so stay tuned. Uh, yeah. I'll see you all later. Have a lovely day and peace out.